as much as I appreciate you fucking with my channel the way you do, if you're not moving forward in life, I pretty much fucking failed. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of being broke. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of the coworkers at your bullshit ass job. I do not have to ask you if you tired of the way your family looks down on you. But what I do have to ask you is how much longer you gonna wait to do something about this shit, big on? Call this fucking number. Let's get something moving in a forward, positive, northward direction. Call this number. I told you this. Get your shit together, big homes. Because that's the closest that a nigga can get to death. And the fact that he still is alive, it kind of makes him feel like a ghost. Because that's the, he can't, it ain't, it's very, you don't know no nigga that can get no nigga really touched. You don't know, you don't know no nigga like that. You don't know, fuck it, you don't know three niggas that can get a nigga touched from in prison. Right now. You, in your life, in your personal life, you don't know three niggas that can get a nigga touched from prison. Who can just say, hey man, uh, go goddamn. So a nigga presence ain't really felt like that out here. So niggas start saying shit. Shit, you know, God damn, yeah, that nigga cool and shit like that. You know, I fuck with my shit. I told that nigga one night, that nigga was on the bed. You know what I'm saying? Hi. I told that nigga, bro, hey, look, dog. Look, you know what I'm saying? You, I ain't with that whole shit, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, I told that nigga, bro, shit. Who ain't? Shit, nigga. I told that nigga, bro. I said, that my brother and everything like that. We were together every day, but I told that nigga, bro. Shit, bro. This nigga, and he calling me and shit like that, like, shit, bro, what, what you put on him? I'm like, look, bro, shit, you a man, bro. I told that nigga. And that's the type of shit that go on in the, this is, this is, this is the street. I'm not telling you, dog. I'm not telling you, like, this is what go on here and this is what go on here. I'm telling you all around the board, it goes like this. And this is what I'm telling you. If you out there, you might want to come on back inside because you're coming back inside anyway. You're coming on, you're coming back inside. It's just, are you going to come back in while you still can get yourself together and make some of your shit? Or you gonna come back in when you know what I'm saying? You actually need help to live. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers don't even look look at you like no OG. Motherfuckers look at you like a real deal elder, like an elder. Like you on your way out. You can't do shit but go to church. You'll look retarded doing anything else but going to church or smoking crack. That's the only two things you can do. Smoke, go to church. So, and and I don't, I don't mean to, you know what I'm saying, just go crazy with this shit, but you you have this Takashi situation is as I'm speaking, as I'm telling you. It's no fucking different. Him specifically, this young bitch, the bitch like attention. She was just online showing off uh, a busted lip and shit like that. And that's another thing hoes do, dog. A bitch. So, she, because she wants to be incredulous to blame, she'll, um, instead of her saying, oh, this nigga beat me and shit like Because she wants, she, she wants to still be able to freely get the money and shit like that. But she also wants the attention. So... She a goddamn, I'm going to show a busted lip or a black eye, just record that shit, and then, because you can't, you don't just do this and then magically go online. No, you got to, goddamn it. Damn it, it ain't recording. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of shit that you gotta do. Like, bitch, this ain't no accident. You have to purposely do this shit. And then leave a caption with some uh, uh, teardrops and shit like that. 
Like, bitch, you want attention. And that's what I'm telling you, dog. If the bitch that you with or thinking about, it, that you fucking is doing these, if she if she's giving you these signs of being attention craving and shit like that, dog, if you ignore it, it's nobody's fault but your own. I don't give a fuck how much good is in there and... Because, my nigga, if you think you're going to change a bitch, then you a hoe. Because that's only hoes think like that. Is he a bad, he bad, but I'm going to change him. I can change him and shit like that. Come on, my nigga. The bitch is attention seeking. Like, you can't have that hoe. She's already, it, she she's for the highest bidder. An attention seeking hoe cannot turn down the temptation of drama or, fuck it, just, let's just say drama. As soon as a nigga come into town... That is of status and shit like that. If he look her direction, it's over with. And if you have a bitch that look like anything, it's going to happen like that all the fucking time. And these are the bitches that run that shit on niggas. Because you don't see this hoe every day. Regardless of what the fuck. I don't know if I don't, I don't know if this is still a thing that motherfuckers say. But it's not no, like, Instagram is not the world. I, I say Instagram because Instagram is the only place where bad bitches post. If you like, if you're not a bad bitch, then the only reason you use Instagram is to either post your makeup or post memes. You're not posting no pictures. Like hoes get shut down on Instagram. There's no such thing as a Facebook model. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can get on Facebook. That's a family site. Instagram, you coming with that shit. You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? Yeah, I seen a bitch today. Got a she a twerk trainer. What the fuck is that shit? All these hoes perfect, but that's not what real life is. That's why these hoes can get booked for coming to a club, my nigga. Can get booked off of Instagram for coming to a club. Because that's how scarce bad bitches are. Give a fuck what you say, nigga. You're not going to Walmart like that and just bumping into all bad hoes like that, dog. It's not happening like that. Because bad bitches don't even come outside like that. That should be crazy. But that's that's a whole nother thing. I'm just saying about that shit though, dog. God damn, these whole ugly as fuck, dog. Fat bitches. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm tripping. But look, man, this hoe is gonna she gonna do it. It's just, this ain't no. This ain't no. I I told you that she showed that busted lip. I was telling you that because I'm just showing you. That's what hoes do. Uh, she wants to be incredulous to, to blame. So now when everybody say, oh, Takashi 6 9 she know they're going to say that. Because if it was a girl that did it, she'll be spazzing on that hoe. If it was another dude that did it, she'll be spazzing on that nigga. If it was anybody else that did it, she'll spazz. The only reason that you would have not to speak about it was if it was 6 9 because you don't want to seem like they're trying to destroy his career. But you still want people to know. So you just don't say shit. So you make a, a quick edit. This bitch edited the video. Made that bitch extremely short. So now when he come ass, like, why the fuck would you do that? What? I didn't say nothing. I was just showing. I was just looking at it. I just, I was just seeing what was going on. Why did you post it? Listen, that's not, why the fuck did you hit me? That type of shit, dog. That type of shit. That's what I'm telling you, dog. Like, I'm showing you there is no win in these situations. If you got a bitch you need to beat, you need to get the fuck out of there. If you in the street, you need to get the fuck out of there. There ain't no win on none of these sides. But I want to speak about the bitch because just whatever the fuck she say next because it's it's phases that hoes go through. It's phases that they go through. When they first hit a verdict, it's going to be a mad, you know what I'm saying, mad, whatever like that. But it also depends on who's in the courtroom. With this situation, you know, his whole family going to be there and shit like that. If she, I don't give a fuck if she's short or not. When he get that goddamn 20... And I'm saying he gonna get 20 because I'm I'm thinking that he gonna be a stand-up nigga like he said he is. And not get all the real niggas fucked up like that and just go ahead and snitch out. So my nigga, the only way that you keep your honor is to get 20. So it's not about wishing no shit on no nigga. But my nigga, if the fuck you... The fuck nigga, you just murdered a motherfucker. What the fuck? I'm, this nigga finna get bam. Ah, uh, you, you, you talking down on a nigga. What the fuck, my nigga? I never understood that shit. It's like niggas, niggas, we, we, we in the cell and shit like that. And they say, oh, God got me. No, it's in God's hand. Whoa. No, big home. You took that shit out of God's hand when you shot that old man in the house and ain't getting No, that shit, you, you, that's old. That, no, you took that out of God's hand. It ain't, ain't, no. No, you took that out of God's hand right then. 
Now, as far as, you know, what happens once you get this uh, life without, what happens in prison and shit like that, that's in God's hand. You know what I'm saying? But right here, this in the judge hands here. Yeah, that, that's pretty much in the judge hand now. Yeah, that, that yeah, you, you, you got it fucked up. You No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? If, whether you die in prison by getting stabbed or actually go go to the upper room or whether you go into the upper room or whether you go into the upper room from natural causes. Those are only... That's what... Y'all got it fucked up. He going to decide... You know, he got the last say on that. But as far as everything else, yeah, you finna... You, you got life without, my nigga. You just killed the old white man and took $5 out of his pocket in front of his fucking wife. But, like I said, the, the bitches go through phases. You know what I'm saying? The initial uh, reaction she gonna have is just be angry towards him. Like, why the fuck did you put me in this situation? But you notice that these hoes don't have no issue with it while they benefiting from it. Because everybody knows six nines, baby mama. Like, you know, I wouldn't know her fucking name, but... This hoe got a name now. Like, you know what I'm saying? She a somebody. That shit crazy, man. And, you know, I hate that shit. But, after that phase comes the, the, uh, I'm riding. I'm riding. And that shit gonna last a maximum of six months. Depending on what she get out of the shit. I say six months. Because she might act like she riding for as long as the money there, but as soon as the money is over with, she over with as far as showing it to him. Now, I say six months because that's how long she'll, it'll take her to figure out how she gonna get the new nigga in, how she gonna fuck him, finding somebody who's trustworthy enough that's not gonna fuck it up for her money because if this nigga, if she get one of these lame ass niggas who gonna, you know what I'm saying, go straight to TMZ, like, I'm fucking 6 9 baby mama while he in jail, whatever like that. Then it's over with. So she got to, this whole six months, she bed niggas. Like, she taking the application like a motherfucker because she going to have something to fuck on. And it's going to take about six months for that goddamn uh, insatiable thirst get too motherfucking loud and she just going to pick anything. Like, fuck it. God, shit. And that's what you get with these hot hoes. These bad bitches and shit like that. Like, you can't, like... That's why I say, dog, boy, you, that's why I don't, I don't fuck with, like, IG model bitches. I'm telling you, my nigga, like, I don't fuck with them hoes. If you fuck with IG models, that's your shit, my nigga. I salute you. You rock out. That's, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with, I fuck with real deal, don't smoke, don't drink. Let me stop, because they, they, they said you never fuck with tell my folks. But fuck it. Don't smoke, don't drink, like, Homely, like school, not in the streets at all. Want to know, you know what I'm saying? How you load that? Uh, get that away. Like, uh, get that gun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Scared of everything, whatever. Uh, happy to go to Walmart. We just going somewhere. Shit like that. I'm not street bitches. I'm not. Bitch, if you know how much anything costs, I ah, is bitch. I'm not. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Because. That I I, I, was, I always thought about that's why I handle all my business almost all my business. I swear to God I try to handle all my business. Motherfuckers ain't know the fuck I stay. I was in a whole nother fucking jurisdiction with my shit. Like I was always planning for even with yo. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know I was planning for the worst. You know what I'm saying? And you do not want to be in one of them serious situations with a dumb bitch or with a hot bitch. But honestly, I would rather a dumb bitch. Because with the dumb bitch, you can you know you just gotta be a little bit more patient. When I say dumb bitch, I mean like, hey look, I'm down here at Metro, they got oh, what's going on? What's going on? calm down, listen. Listen, listen, go on the glove apartment, go on the glove, what's going on, where, where you at, why they, why they won't let you go, God, listen, man, listen, 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 it's alright, I'm finna get out of here, all you, all you, I, go on the glove compartment, 
I got four hundred dollars in there. What is my what you got four hundred dollars? Listen, you know what I'm saying? With a hot bitch, you scared to tell a hoe you got four hundred dollars in the girls' apartment. This bitch gonna take that shit and run. God damn. Shit. You gotta find a you gotta find a whole scheme before you call that bitch. Look, go get my mama. <laughs> go pick up my mama in the car. And give her the phone. You know what I'm saying? On that type of shit. Like, I'd rather a dumb bitch, man. Because, like, this shit like this, dog. Nah, man. Nah, man. This hoe gonna, this hoe gonna do you so fucked. This hoe finna do him so fucked up. And then, this your baby mama. So you can't even get away from this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that shit right there. Like, she finna do you so fucked up. And then, for the life of your child, you still gonna have to be in contact with this bitch. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? So you always wanna you always wanna choose, you know what I'm saying, the girl that you will want in the on the worst day of your life. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have arms, when you don't have hands, and this bitch is gonna have to be your hands, heart, and mind, you know what I'm saying? Who do you want? That's what you need to be planning for. That's the bitch that you need to be building. And it's going to be hard as fuck to build with a bitch that won't even put a fucking phone down to train. I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you, dog. You either going to listen to what the fuck I'm telling you, my nigga. Or you going to go through this shit and feel so fucking retarded. Because if you've been watching this video for this fucking long... There's a reason for it. You've been asking for certain things. The main thing that you should have been asking for is a sign. You know what I'm saying? About what to do next. Should I do this? You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, the way that you head it is going to have you in a place and when you hear my voice in your head you gonna wanna commit suicide because every time I got hit, the first fucking voice I heard in my head is my mama voice, like it's gonna happen. You know they coming. I'm not doing that. You know you keep on that denial shit. I'm not doing nothing. Cause it's what you got going on is just so easy. You you ain't you ain't causing too much trouble. You ain't making too much noise. You 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 playing it smart. You doing it easy, and you got good intentions. You not, but you understand. You know what I'm saying? You understand that you one fuck up away. You understand the dangers, and you just believe because you know. You 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 the type of motherfucker that, that believe that if you get pulled over in front of your house, ain't no way you can go to jail. You know what I'm saying? You that type of motherfucker. You think because you get pulled over, like you just about to pull in your driveway and he hit the lights. You feel like, I live right there. You feel like that means something. That don't mean a fucking thing, my nigga. It don't matter how fucking slick you think. It don't matter how close you think you are to anything. You just don't understand how far away you are already. And but that's getting too getting too tall for you. Um what I'm telling you is not gonna win with the street and attention seeking bitches are not gonna last. If she show you the signs, believe her. There's no saving. There's no... If you think that you can... That you're going to get in with this bitch and change her, then you a bitch. That's what hoes be thinking. I can change this nigga. Um, it is what it is. Um, with 6 9 and shit like that, like I said... Um, it is what it is. Um, if he's staying like a man, um, I but 
that's that's for the other show, but really, you really hate when the motherfucker that you need not to snitch is being threatened by the people that he's not supposed to snitch on. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hate those situations because it's like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't you don't even have the you don't even have the um the regret of telling on your friends on your shoulders like that's. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that you're going to have on your shoulders is the G-code. But if you've never been a fucking G, that code never applied to you anyway. So, when you take off that gangster costume, you also take that off. So now you're just an average citizen just sitting there like the snake that you are. Why wouldn't you? To be honest... That would play in his favor. For him to tell on everything that happened. So he seems like a fucking civilian just watching this shit and not being able to believe it. And I do not think that he is too fucking good for that. Motherfuckers talking about he ain't told yet and all that faggot ass shit. My nigga. Please believe me. That boy has a goddamn mind on him. And he think about number one. He think about number one. No one told him to um, record the places he was and put them out hours later when they're at the next location. He thought of that. These are things that he made up. He made up. It wasn't shoddy. It was him. This motherfucker started as a fucking cameraman. He was a camera boy. Finding shots and angles and shit like that. That was his job. This whole time y'all thinking that he the duck. You thinking he's the fucking fall guy when he's using y'all as charge and bullet sponges. Steady going right back to Mexico. Dumping that goddamn money off. That motherfucker had 1.7 in his fucking account. Tell you now, y'all gonna be surprised as fuck to see the motherfucker step up for that motherfucker. Y'all gonna be surprised as fuck to see the motherfucker step right the fuck up for that goddamn boy. Like, what's going on, Holmes? Oh, for life. Blow. Big Face Podcast, I'm Ayo Conseco. This is part two of the Free the King of New York or the King of Mexico, whatever you choose. Um, Stay tuned for part three. Make sure you hit the PayPal.